On the icy shores of the Baltic lives one of Europe's most enigmatic peoples, the Estonians. Isolated by language yet connected by geography, they have long stood apart from their Indo-European neighbors. For decades, historians assumed their ancestry mirrored that of Northern Europeans. But new genetic research has shattered that idea. Deep sequencing of ancient and modern Estonian DNA has uncovered an unexpected legacy, one rooted in Ice Age hunters, steppe nomads, and Arctic foragers. What scientists found challenges everything we thought we knew about Europe's past. This is the untold story of the Baltic's most ancient bloodline. Estonia lies at a crossroads, a narrow land between the Baltic Sea and the vast northern forests, where Europe fades into the Arctic. Its geography has always shaped its destiny. When the glaciers retreated around 11,000 BCE, the first humans followed, settling along the lakes and rivers of what would become one of northern Europe's oldest inhabited regions. These early settlers founded the Kunda culture, famed for reindeer hunting, bone tools, and coastal fishing. Millennia later, the Narva culture emerged, marked by early pottery and a semi-sedentary life along the shores, yet still sustained by foraging and fishing. Estonia's landscape, dense forests, marshlands, and long winters, acted as both refuge and barrier. It protected its inhabitants from large-scale migrations that reshaped much of Europe, allowing ancient genetic patterns to survive almost undisturbed. While southern Europe absorbed wave after wave of farmers and empires, the Baltic remained a quiet outpost of the Old World. Here, Ice Age DNA persisted, frozen in time, preserved in the bloodlines of the people who refused to be erased. In its soil and its genes, Estonia still carries the deep imprint of the continent's earliest survivors, a bridge between prehistory and modern Europe. The genetic story of Estonia begins long before history, in the Mesolithic world of Ice Age survivors. When the glaciers withdrew, small bands of hunter-gatherers from both west and east moved into the empty northern forests. From the west came people carrying western hunter-gatherer, WHG, ancestry, descendants of Ice Age refuges in Iberia. From the east came groups with eastern hunter-gatherer, EHG, ancestry, rooted in the steppe and forest zones of ancient Russia. These two lineages met and mixed in the Baltic, giving rise to one of Europe's earliest hybrid populations. Unlike most of Europe, which was later transformed by Neolithic farmers from Anatolia, Estonia saw very limited Near Eastern genetic influence. Archaeogenetic studies show that early farming populations spread into Central and Southern Europe around 6000 BCE, but they barely reached the Eastern Baltic. The cold, forested climate and the local abundance of game and fish made agriculture less appealing, and the forager way of life persisted far longer than anywhere else in Europe. This long isolation meant that the ancient Baltic peoples retained extraordinary genetic continuity. DNA extracted from Stone Age burials at Kanu, Narva, and Puli reveals direct ancestry with modern Estonians. Their genetic signatures, the same combinations of WHG and EHG components remain detectable in living populations today. Estonia, in effect, became a time capsule of Europe's Ice Age past. Its people preserved ancient immunity genes, metabolism traits, and even pigmentation variants that once defined the earliest Europeans. While much of the continent's DNA was rewritten by migrations, Estonia's isolation and endurance allowed the old genome to survive, a living record of humanity's first northern pioneers. Around 3000 BCE, the quiet continuity of the Baltic world was disrupted by one of the most significant migrations in prehistory, the arrival of peoples from the Pontic Caspian steppe. These newcomers carried new technologies, domesticated animals, and a striking genetic signature marked by the R1AY chromosome lineage, now common across much of Eastern Europe. Archaeologists associate them with the corded ware culture, named for their distinctive pottery impressed with twisted cords. They brought sweeping cultural changes, pastoralism, horse breeding, metalworking, and new burial traditions that emphasized warriors and chieftains. Yet despite this influx, the genetic transformation of Estonia was only partial. The ancient hunter-gatherer DNA endured beneath a layer of steppe ancestry, creating a uniquely mixed genetic profile. Even more remarkably, the language of the newcomers never replaced the native Finno-Ugric tongue. 
While their genes left a permanent mark, their speech did not. An exceptional case of a population absorbing outsiders biologically but resisting them culturally. Estonia became a frontier between two worlds, Indo-European genes and Finno-Ugric identity. Despite the genetic wave from the steppe, Estonia's linguistic heart remained Finno-Ugric. Modern Estonian is closely related to Finnish and distantly to Hungarian, languages that trace back not to the Indo-European family but to the ancient Uralic branch. This makes Estonia one of the few regions in Europe where the local tongue survived multiple waves of migration and conquest. This resilience illustrates a fascinating truth of prehistory. Genes and languages do not always travel together. While corded ware and later Indo-European peoples reshaped much of Europe linguistically, the Finno-Ugric roots of the Baltic North proved unyielding. Geography, climate, and a strong local identity insulated the region from linguistic assimilation. Genetic continuity alongside linguistic persistence paints a portrait of a culture both absorptive and resistant, able to integrate newcomers yet retain its core. The endurance of the Estonian language across 5,000 years stands as living evidence of that ancient stubbornness, a linguistic fossil from Europe's Stone Age that still speaks in the modern world. Recent large-scale genome studies, from Nature, Science, and the Estonian Biobank Project, have confirmed what archaeologists long suspected. Estonians are among the most genetically ancient peoples in Europe. Modern Estonians retain 40 to 50 percent hunter-gatherer ancestry, far higher than most Europeans, who typically carry less than 20 percent. This makes them direct descendants of the Ice Age foragers who first settled the northern forests. Their DNA shows unusually low input from Neolithic Anatolian farmers, indicating that the agricultural revolution touched the Baltic only lightly. Instead, their genome preserves early European and steppe components in rare balance. Scientists have also found unique immune system markers and metabolic traits linked to ancient adaptations, from cold tolerance to fat metabolism, inherited from those early hunters. This genetic blend, combined with linguistic continuity, makes Estonia a true time capsule of Northern Europe. It is one of the few places where prehistoric ancestry still dominates modern DNA. For geneticists, Estonia isn't just another population sample. It's a living window into Europe's Ice Age past, preserved in the blood of a modern nation. Estonia today is one of the world's most digital societies, a nation of e-residency, online voting, and cutting-edge tech. Yet beneath this ultra-modern surface lies one of Europe's oldest genetic lineages. DNA analysis reveals that while Estonians embrace the future, their biological roots stretch tens of thousands of years into the past. Their genome carries a rare blend of ancient European hunter-gatherer and Siberian Uralic ancestry, connecting them faintly to populations of Northeast Asia. This link reflects ancient migrations across the Ural Mountains long before recorded history. It also explains certain genetic adaptations, enhanced cold tolerance, specific metabolic pathways for northern diets, and distinct immune traits suited to harsh climates. These deep-time genetic layers have modern implications, influencing health, disease resistance, and even how Estonians process light and seasons. In a world of constant movement and mixing, Estonia stands as a genetic paradox, a digital nation built on Ice Age DNA, where modern innovation coexists with prehistoric resilience. The story of Estonian DNA is the story of survival. While empires rose and languages faded, the people of the Baltic forests preserved one of Europe's oldest genetic signatures. Their DNA bridges East and West, ancient and modern, carrying echoes of both Finno-Ugric foragers and steppe herders. Science now confirms what Estonian folklore always hinted, that they are a people apart, bound to the land and its deep memory. Beneath their high-tech society flows the blood of Europe's first hunters, unbroken through millennia of change. The DNA of ancient Europe didn't disappear, it endures in Estonia, whispering from the blood of the Baltic.